factor, this messy trinomial. This one has a few things going on. It's got greatest common factors that we can pull out, and it also has two variables. So let's take a look at how to deal with it. As always, pull out a greatest common factor whenever possible. Uh, let's see, the numbers don't have a common factor, but the variables do. There are four m's at least everywhere, so let's pull out four m's. And for the m's, we can only pull out one because that's all this one has. Leftovers go in parentheses. So that's our GCF right there, m to the fourth n. Leftovers, six. And we pulled out four m's, we're left with two. We pulled out the n. Plus 11. We pulled out four m's, we're left with one. We pulled out one n, we're left with one. Plus three. And m to the fourth we pulled out. We pulled out one n, so we're left with two. Now we have a trinomial that we want to factor. So we're going to forget about this GCF for now, and at the end we're going to tack it onto the answer as a multiplier. All right, so let's just look at this trinomial. The first thing I notice is that because it's got two variables going on, and the first one is a square, then a one power, and then it's not there, and the other one has the opposite pattern, it's not there, then it's a one power, then it's a square. I know that however this factors out, I can just stick that last one there, the end, and the one on the two end terms, and I'll end up getting the right combination of variables. The m piece will be right in here. So what I'm going to do is just forget about the n for now to make the factoring look a little bit easier. I'm going to write 6m squared plus 11m plus 3. And then when we're all done, we're going to insert the n here and here at the last two spots to make sure that when we multiply everything out, we would get the n, n, n squared back again. All right, so we're going to factor 6m squared plus 11m plus 3. And I'm going to use the factor by grouping method. So we look at factors of the first times the last term. Factors of 6 times 3, and the signs are very important. All right, so factors of positive 18 that sum to the middle term. And in this case, positive 11. Again, the sign is really important. So because we're looking at factors of positive 18, we're either going to have minus minus or plus plus factors. Because those factors have to add up to a positive number, where are you going to look for plus plus? We do not want minus minus. So let's start listing them out. We have plus 1 times plus 18, plus 2 times plus 9, and all the time be thinking about what they add up to. That adds up to plus 19, that adds up to plus 11, and that one works. As soon as you find the one that gives you the right sum, you stop. If we hadn't found it yet, we would keep going. We would do 3 times 6, and uh, go through all the possibilities. But we have the 2 times 9. So this was our very first step for the factoring by the grouping method. Find the factors of first times last term that sum to the middle term. Once you find those, what you want to do is rewrite the original trinomial here by splitting the middle term. And I'll show you what I mean. So split this middle term into those two factors that we just found. All right, 11 is the same as 2 plus 9. So we're going to split it up. 6m squared plus 2m plus 9m plus 3. And now we're going to factor by grouping. So I take those two and those two and pair them up separately. So here I can pull out 2m and I'm left with 3m plus 1 plus, take out a 3, and I'm left with 3m plus 1. That looks good because now I have this common binomial. Pull out the common binomial of 3m plus 1, and we're left with 2m plus 3. And now I just need to remember, I need to insert the n here and here, and it will give me the right pattern. And I also need to reinsert the GCF from the beginning because I don't want to forget about that. That's part of my answer. GCF was m to the fourth n, 3m plus 1, 
oops, plus n, I almost forgot to put that n in there, times 2m plus 3n. And that would be the final factoring.